Ladies and gents, Andy TV here with another vlog. I am at Jamie's house because he called me over because he bought a screwdriver finally. The yeah. one that he needed. It, he, it was supposed to come on Wednesday. This is like the, the, the three headed the tri thing. Yeah. That. And he also has that's the calendar Anthony gave him. But yeah. So this is his new controller. It's an emerald blue what? It's your phone. That's my phone, yeah. Yeah, it's an emerald blue controller. Which looks pretty nice. It's amazing. And that's one of his other controllers. So He's... what I'm trying to do here is I like as you can see, like I fixed the analog problem of it. And the yeah, reason why because that's was... why he needed the screwdriver in the first place. He and was the... having an analog problem. And the reason why it was the analog stick was messed up wasn't because of the analog stick itself. It was the motherboard and like the inside of it. Like I'll show you guys when I open this up, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna unscrew some screws here. Uh, Yay! Okay, so keep all that there. Okay, that's right. so that's the silver controller, and let's pop that baby open. Okay, so here is the motherboard. Oh, my um, phone just went off. Let's see. All right, I need to. And your phone went off. I know. It's, it's a... phones are going off everywhere. I know. Okay, so I need to be careful. I've seen the inside of a Wii remote, but I haven't seen the inside of a GameCube controller. It's pretty cool. Um, I just have to be very careful and not... Not damage the motherboard? Yeah, that would not be fun. Let's take a look. So this is the the motherboard. Um, yes, the hand is the motherboard. Okay, that's better. Sorry, but this is the thing yep. that needs to go into... This is going to go into this controller, however... The reason why I opened it from the other side is that these are buttons that can obviously fall and lose, yeah. and that can be really sad. So for right now, um, this um, is going to go. Put this carefully. Hold it and put it. Oh boy! Somewhere. So much pressure. As I go ahead and. It will go on top of the brawl case. That's fine. And it will give. Just be careful. Hold up. No, that that's not a good idea. There, not on a flat surface. Hey look, there's the Lumo that you got at PAX, signed by Josh Jepson. Yep. That's, I, that's amazing. Okay, when so. we go to PAX East 2015, get another Lumo and have, have him sign it again. <laughs> Imagine. He'd be like, aren't you the guy that signed the... He, he probably would remember. I'd be like, yeah, I wanted two of them. What of it. Or no. Ooh. Ooh. And, no, I'll get a different colored one this time and have him sign it. Or have someone else sign it. So that would be pretty cool. You could have this guy, um, the Game and Guru 5 1, you can have him sign it because I heard he might be there. Oh, all day, dude. Um, but yeah, speaking of packs while he's busy on screwing, we have some interesting plans because more people are going to be going, hopefully. Are we? Are they? Hopefully. Coming. I mean, the four that went last time was me, Jamie, finger pointing at Jamie. Anthony and Bobby, yep, they're going to be going as well, and some other people might be going, like three others at least, or four, I don't know. One, two, three. So yeah, that's going to be fun, but uh, let's go back to the controller, because that's what this is about. Okay, so, these two can go here for now. Oh, you could have, like, the front of this be, like, in the back of the, the silver one, have, like, a dual colored controller. I'm trying to keep the kind of the rarityness of this. Yeah, but if you ever felt like switching it up, you could. I really could. But the thing is though, this thing is going to have the silver thing at the end while the other controller, the what like a that's the uh, only difference that it's going to have. You could paint it. <laughs> Whatever. Or I can I don't know. Okay, so this is going to go on that. Um Wait, okay, so that's that. No. So what I need to do... Is take out that control stick. Because didn't you say that? Yeah. Yeah, I need... Uh, this is so there was no point in putting the control stick there in the first place. No. But not, not, not really. But... Wait, so why are you swapping motherboards? Because I like the feel of the buttons on this controller more so than this one. And I'm not really... Well, I guess I am switching the motherboard, but... Um... This is, came from this one, right? Yes. Okay, so that means I... I have the video evidence to prove it. That means I need to do put this on here. And I need to switch buttons from 
this one over to that one, that one over to that one. So, everything kind of works. I mean, we did ev everything is fine with this one. I mean, still has a This is... The motherboard of this one was originally the emerald blue ones, but there's something wrong with the analog stick, which is why we transplanted it to this, to the silver controller here. It's just... There's something weird, either with the motherboard or the back piece of the emerald blue controller. Because, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. But, jump cut to when it's fixed. Ho hopefully. Okay, so I have a bit of explaining to do. Um, I, I think, no, you know what? I'm going to explain this, because this is kind of stupid, alright? So what we try to do is, we try to switch the motherboard. Yeah, so the... The first, uh, the motherboard that we were trying to put into the emerald blue one, that wasn't fitting, okay? Yes, so, so this motherboard... Was so we switched really... the motherboard... No, 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 what happened was this motherboard in this one right now, it's supposed to go in here. Yeah. But somehow, it, it won't fit. fit. So, we were like, okay, maybe it's the motherboard, because we, we originally thought it was the back of this controller. So, you know what, what the hell, let's try switching the motherboard. So we did. So the motherboard that was in here is now in here, but it fits fine. Yeah. However, the motherboard that is switching to this one also It'll, fits. So it um, must I'm be confused. this stupid controller. Yeah. So my explanation is this motherboard that we originally tried to put in that one just doesn't like that one. Or it doesn't fit. Some for some reason. I don't know why it wouldn't fit, but it doesn't. So, long story short. Once we're done testing this, though, we're gonna test. Or once we're done. Screwing that in, and we're gonna start testing controllers. Yeah, screw this. this. But seriously, hold on. This is this is not. Good. Why is it open like that? I don't like that. Like you see how it's like open a bit. I. Uh, you see that, or was it like that before? You're... Hmm. Try screwing it in some more. That should probably close it. We'll see. Yeah, controllers are stupid. <laughs> Well, now you learn the inside of a GameCube controller, for the most part. Or if you wanted to see Jamie just use a screwdriver over and over again, then watch this video. <laughs> is that really what it's best? Pretty much. No, the battery light is showing, so I think I'm just going to end this off here and then put some text at the end of the video to see if the controllers actually work. Because I don't want the battery to die, like, halfway through this, except it's more than halfway, but whatever. Later.